Another new bill addresses how medical providers are reimbursed by Medicaid. Senator Mike Jacobson wants to raise the current reimbursement level. KETV News Watch 7's Cal Larson joins us live. Nebraska is one of just six states that is not involved in the federal reimbursement program for Medicare and Medicaid. Doctors across the state say that puts a big strain on rural hospitals. We get about 80% of our actual costs reimbursed from Medicaid patients. Nebraska Senator Mike Jacobson is hoping to increase that percentage with his new bill, LB 1087. That would go a long ways towards helping offset some of the losses that they're currently taking with Medicaid patients. Nebraska is not taking advantage of a federal match program right now. That's because hospitals have always used state money to reimburse care for Medicaid patients. Jeremy Nordquist with Nebraska Hospital Association says it's time for that to change. Instead of being reimbursed at 40, 45 cents uh, on your costs, we're going to get to break even on those services. Nebraska could bring in up to $1 billion through the program, which would be crucial for rural areas. I think the biggest benefit is going to go to the Medicaid recipients, where they will have better access to care, and hopefully it'll be easier for providers to, to see them. Ivan Mitchell is the CEO of Great Plains Health in North Platte. He says one benefit of the bill is that it's budget neutral to taxpayers, meaning they won't have to pay an extra cent. Ideally, with the additional funds for Medicaid, hopefully it will decrease the rate of uh, health care cost inflation, which is just out of control. Jacobson calls his proposal a win-win, but says it's time to act. We need to get this done sooner rather than later. It will impact all hospitals in Nebraska, but particularly there's a need in rural Nebraska where you've got fewer hospitals and uh, we really need that support. Senator Jacobson has 19 co-sponsors for his proposed bill. He expects a few more as it goes through committee. Julie, back to you. We'll watch for that. Thanks, Cal.